little bit more info about the trailer for the Sherp. The tires on the trailer are the exact same tires that are on the Sherp itself. They are 16 by 600 by 25s. Uh, I can take these off and I can put them on the Sherp. Um, it makes financial sense just to have the trailer to have the tires for a backup, shall we say. I also have an additional uh, storage capacity too for more fuel if I need it. Um, you fill up the tires basically the same way as you fill up the Sherp. I'll show you that in a little bit here. The material on the on uh, the trailer is aluminum. I believe it's aircraft grade aluminum, like the upper part of the Sherp. I'm not 100% sure on that. All right, to be able to inflate the tires with the Sherp, you just go to this front compartment here, pop this open. And on the inside of this, we have a hose. So you take the hose out. And what you do is, is this right here is put onto the exhaust system right over here. Pop that onto the exhaust, like so. And then you come back over to here and you open up the valve while the Sherp is running and the tire should be filled. To let some air out of the tires, you just leave it off of there, obviously open this up and let it down for however as much as you need. I don't know yet at this point as to how much air pressure I should have in the tires. Uh, that'll come with time. Rolling. All right, take off three straps. Take them off the bottom so we can leave them on the top. And then I believe, so I got somebody on the other side helping me, we can just lift up these two hand or one handle in the back and slide it forward. Or backwards, excuse me. Both handles. There you go. So to lift this all up, you just lift to get in the bottom, you lift up the top here, and right underneath the sherp, the reason for not going all the way to the bottom is just like in the middle, it's got a connector down there. One goes to one tire, one goes to the other tire, and the one in the front goes out the front, and that's how you fill up the tires and you let the air out. A little bit of support here. I think it seems to be pretty strong. Time will tell. Okay, to take this back off, and again, this is a different design than what the previous Sherp trailers had. The previous Sherp trailers had a door that dropped down uh, very similar to a Sherp pickup, if you're familiar with that version, a heavy-duty door. They changed that and made it so the entire thing could be taken off just so you could fit more cargo in. I honestly would prefer the old design just because I think it would be better for the uses that I anticipate uh, the trailer being situations that the trailer would be put in. So to take this off, all you do is take off the bottom clamps on both sides. I guess you could do the same thing for the top. But after you take off the other one, you have to hold it or it will fall down. Take off the one take off the other and that is all there is to it so inside of the SERP trailer it's got the same type of bottom material um, that is in the actual SERP itself uh, it's got this right here fairly strong material in fact it's probably the strongest thing that I've ever seen um, and it works well we will see how it works after I get to play with this a little bit. So I've had a lot of people ask me, why isn't there a Pinto hitch on this? I have absolutely no clue, but that's the type of hitch that is on it, and I absolutely love that hitch. It's the strongest thing that I've seen. It's much better than the stuff that we use in the U.S. Quickly, this is what it looks like in that front compartment on the bottom. All the hoses here are kept in this front storage compartment. And that pretty much concludes this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Let me know if you have any questions. Take care.